Hello, all of my fabulous friends. It's so great to see you here. I hope that today is the start of a really great weekend for you. I always usually do my video shooting on a Friday, Saturday, and then do the upload editing Saturday night and on the channel Sunday. That's the goal all the time. But anyway, sometimes, you know, life just gets in the way. But here we are. It is a Saturday and I'm shooting this because this video, just a little ASMR, this video, it might be a little triggering. I was very excited back in August and it's going to be a little bit of a rant kind of video. So if you're not feeling the vibes of a good old rant, then you may want to just turn the channel. So. If you're up for that, then just keep watching this video. And uh, please, if you like these kind of videos, smash that like button. And please don't forget, if you're new here, I would so much appreciate um, if you just hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. That way you'll be kept abreast of when I upload my latest videos. All right, you may have actually seen these boxes before. That's right, it is a boxy charm. It is their base box beauty subscription, uh, which was a pretty big deal for me because I have been, uh, first beauty box I got was Top Box here in Canada. And then I branched from Top Box, I dropped that, and I got my Ipsy. And then I started accumulating a lots and lots of minis. And then even after COVID was over, I mean, if Ipsy could make a, a sample smaller, they would try. I mean, some of the items that I got were so miniature, you'd only get one or two uses out of it. Whereas before they're sort of their deluxe sizes, you know, you could get a week's worth kind of use out of them, even if it was a moisturizer or some facial serum. But anyways, needless to say, done with all the minis. I was so excited. I talked to my good friend, Lori, and Lori is just a sweetheart, but she does the Boxy Charm Premium Box, I believe. But she was just saying like how much she loves it. She was talking about all the benefits. I mean, like it was really just, and I had watched lots of BoxyCharm reviews and I was like, I think I'm, I'm ready for it. And I wanted to treat myself. You know, it's a little bit more money, obviously, than the Ipsy uh, box or subscription, but you get five full-size items in the BoxyCharm. And right when I decided, it was just at the end of summer, so the end of August, actually August the 21st it was, and, um, you know, they... Uh, you know, as usual, the internet is listening the whole time to your every thoughts and whims. Thus why they were sending me lots of advertisements of BoxyCharm. But in the BoxyCharm, they were like, you know, if you sign up now, you're going to get this free gift. And then you get to pick one of the five base box items. You fill out a beauty profile, you know, pretty standard for most of the beauty subscriptions. So I was so excited. And it said, didn't even matter if you signed up like the last day of August, which I didn't, by the way, I signed up August 21st, you would then be able to get your choice of two kind of like welcome gifts to say thank you for signing up for Boxing Charm. You would still get to pick your products and you would definitely be getting that September's space box. So I was like, yes. So I think the two choices for sign up um, if, if I'm mistaken, but I believe one was the Farsali's, some kind of like facial oil and the other one, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a multi, uh, face palette. So it had like contour, I believe and a blush and bronzer, that sort of thing. So I was like, yes, give me that. Because even if the tones were too dark or too light, I was like, at least I have options. Um, and you know, I could put it in a giveaway pile. So I was so excited. And then Probably around about the third week of September, uh, yeah, they sent me out like a tracking code saying, you know, it was packed with love, it was shipped to you, so I was like, great, this is going to be awesome. And I live in Canada, if you don't know, but anyways, uh, I've never had a problem receiving products. I think there's been maybe one other time. Uh, during COVID when, when Sephora was like <laughs> way behind um, in their shipping. But anyways, 
I literally, literally just got this BoxyCharm the other day. So it took over two months, not even joking, from the time I signed up, August 21st, all the way to when I got this box. And I was just like, I think I was gobsmacked to put a better term to it. I just kept thinking there is absolutely no way they've lost the box. I don't know what the deal was. Then it got stuck in one of the other cities in my province. And then finally, finally, it got to me. Because I was thinking maybe it's Hurricane Ian. Maybe it was like the storms in the east coast of, of Canada that we had. I don't know that it was any of those things, but eight weeks to get this box. So anyways, it still came. I was still excited. I'm like, okay, I kind of missed the whole boat on doing a boxy charm unboxing, even though I'm going to do that for you because I do want to share what I got, but I was just so excited and it just came the box. So I naturally assume that when I open the box, that in the box would be my welcome gift. Nope, nope, no welcome gift. There was no Farcelli oil. There was not the palette that I picked as my welcome gift. There was just my five items that I picked. And I was like, oh, like, I know it's not that big a deal. It was just though that they said, if you sign up, you get this free gift. So I thought I'll go on the boxycharmsupport.com uh, because there's no number. There's no actual human to talk to, which is really annoying. They have the boxy bot. It'll say, just type in all the information. They'll contact you within 24 hours. That was two days ago. I've been checking my mail. They haven't responded. And the response was basically, thank you, after waiting two months to get my base box, which was excessively long. Um, I just didn't get my welcome gift, you know, my bonus gift for signing up. So I'm just kind of like, and, and no response. So I guess I will just maybe send them another one and then I'll just let it go because ultimately I guess if I didn't get the gift I would have signed up anyways it's just so annoying isn't it because like that's kind of the whole promo deal and it's like I signed up so I don't really know what else I was supposed to do but uh alas I did not get my welcome gift so there's that here we go with the box um I do love the inside of the box. All right, so you do get this card. The card has a theme. It also has a description of the items you got with the prices, but I don't like to look as it be a spoiler. And I also availed of the boxy shop um, where you get discounts and you can buy things. So I will show you the item that I purchased as well in that, which sadly so, unlike Ipsy, if you add something, they ship it with your whole order. BoxyCharm doesn't. And then they charge you $5.99 for handling fees. I don't know if they do that in the States, but if you go to the boxy shop, you get it as a separate shipping um, and they charge you a handling fee, whatever. It still was like 70% off the actual retail price. All right, pretty excited though, because full size items, it's so exciting. So the first one that I got is in this. It's so funny because, you know, with Ipsy, anything that came in bubble wrap for Ipsy, I was so excited because I knew it was like a compact or a little eyeshadow pot or whatever. So look at this. This is Ciate. This is their bamboo bronzer, which is really, really exciting. And also, I just have foundation on and a little lip balm and I brush my brows. That's it. That's all I have. So I'm hoping to put this makeup on for you. But would you guys look at the packaging? Oh, look, you can see me. <laughs> but anyways, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So reflective, beautiful. It's got a little bow tie. It says Ciate and it's got little twinkly stars. And then look at the actual compact. I don't know if you can appreciate it, um, but it has little stars embedded all over the compact. Can you see that? I'm not sure that you could actually see that. Anyways, so cool. This is full-size bronzer from Ciate with that really cute little compact. Go South Beach. What a pretty, pretty, pretty little compact. Take a little bit of this 
Does it have a smell? It has no smell, so that's good. And I'm just going to do a little tap off, and I'm just going to, as I often say, toast the edges. Ooh, 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 it just clung to a little dry patch there. Okay, because my hairdresser is, ooh, she's very pigmented. Wow, you guys, I didn't think it looked that pigmented. I didn't think it was that pigmented. Back to my hairdresser. I'm like, uh, you know, what is it? Like a bird, a crow, when they see something that they love or sparkly. But don't look at my hair too much because, like I said, on standby for two weeks, trying to get into my hairdresser because she does more now like hair extensions and, and that sort of thing. And it's a big part of her clientele now because, of course, she makes more money. Um, and those sessions take like four and five hours, like and anyways, months in advance to get into a hair appointment. So I said, can you just put me on a cancellation list? So keep your fingers crossed because this hair has just got to be done. Mm -hmm. I think it looks, it looks good. I think it's a little, yeah, it's not too orange. No, it's not too orange. It certainly was more pigmented than I thought. And that's probably because the bronzer of choice that I've been using lately has been my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics bronzer, the one that smells like the um, caramel coffee. And I love that bronzer. I love that bronzer. No word of a lie. Love it. It's got to be probably one of my favorite bronzers as of yet. So not angry about the Ciate of London. So this is exciting because this is Wander Beauty. And did I ever, I think I I may have received one or two items with Wander Beauty um, when I was with Ipsy, but they would have been some something small, obviously. Um, and what is this one? This one, it just says Wander Beauty on the outside. No, on the glow, it's like a duo blush and highlighter stick. Now, if you watch my last video, and certainly I will put a link to it, uh, but um, I recently did a brand review on Merit Beauty. Mm, the chef's kiss, by the way. Um, all my stuff, other than obviously my bronzer currently, was Merit Beauty. I'm doing this whole minimalistic makeup thing uh, to work, and gotta say, I'm loving it. I'm just loving how kind of fresh and freeing minimalistic makeup is doesn't mean I'm not a full glam girl when it's needed I mean I'm there for it I'm living for the makeup but I'm just saying every day that minimalistic like no makeup makeup look or makeup no makeup look it just <laughs> how does that go shouldn't it be a makeup no makeup look because the look is no makeup but it's makeup Either way, you know, I could wrap my head around that a million times, but I am really loving it because it is really, it's just so freeing and um, it just makes your skin look like, like glass, like that Korean glass skin. Isn't that what we all want in life? And look, look at the color of this. So obviously you wind it up. Yeah, the color is bare. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand as I often do. Oh yes, that's a lovely because I said I would throw these things on my face. So again, don't look at my grays, please, or my whites, whatever color they are. Okay, so, oh, 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 girl, shares are pigmented. Um, let's just tap it out with this. Everything's falling on my desk. Let's just tap this out with this. Is this a Farrah brush? This is a Farrah brush that I got in Ipsy and you probably heard me talked about it a million times, but I just friggin' love it. Look at this synthetic brush, but just the way it's cut, so dense. It's like the perfect cream blush blender. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that is good. That is good. Is my Merit Beauty, the way it just melted, melted into my skin. So it melted on the one side, let's just melt it on the other side. It's fabulous, darling. Whoa, dude. Where <laughs> I don't know where this actual video is like, where the craziness is coming from. But hey, if you're here, then you're here because you like my crazy personality. And quite frankly, I like your crazy personality. You know what I'm saying? I see you and you see me and that's a good thing. The highlighter, like can't even talk. I love the idea of the dual side just because, you know, that's a great, like, travel thing, isn't it? Oh, 
What the heck? So let's see if this Wander Beauty will rival my Merit Day Glow in Kava because, like I just said, I am living for my Merit Beauty. Should I do one on one side and one on the other side? Dare we just do a one offer right now? Top shelf, right on my desk, ready to go every morning. Okay, so we have Wander Beauty, whatever color that is, the highlighter. So I am going to just, we're blending it in. Yes, yes, I do actually put highlighter right by my crow's feet. Yes, I do, breaking all the rules here for the 45 plus, that's right. I feel I'm a pioneer of the mature makeup community. No, I really don't think that, but I still am crazy. Okay, this is my Wonder Beauty. This is the Day Glow Kaba. Like, loving it. Oh, because it goes on. Like, look how it goes on. It's really beautiful. All right, I'm going to tap it in with my makeup blender. What do we think? Like, it's really pretty. Hmm? Just kind of gives you more of like a inside glowy look whereas this one whoa okay let's just tap it out there we don't need it right on the crow's feet do we you know we don't need to be like hey i'm over here we have wander beauty oh, let's do a better job of blending and then we have merit beauty i don't know you guys this is nice very diffuse very kind of just like melts also very diffuse very pretty. I do need to put this now down my nose because that's where I usually wear a little, a little bit. But you guys, honestly, look at it. It's stunning. It's stunning. I am loving this. I am loving this. Who have I become that I am just like completely in love with every cream product? Every cream product. Don't worry if you've missed anything in this box, by the way. Something that you see that just kind of caught your eye that you might like and you just don't want to subscribe to BoxyCharm but you want to buy. Wander Beauty? Hmm. It's a good one, isn't it? But I will leave everything down below with links in the subscription bar for you, of course. Do, 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 do. And this obviously is a lip liner by Beauty For Real. Like Beauty For Real, peoples. Okay, so um, I've got 10,000 swatches on the back of my hand and my wipes are nowhere to be found. It's in neutral, neutral deep. All right, I like it. So it's not a sharpener, it's a wind up. It's a wind up whatever you call it. Let's just do a little swipe -a here on my hand. I did a little heart. <laughs> okay, so I don't have any lipstick on, so, you know, I have lip balm. Obviously, because it's <laughs> quite dark. But, okay, that. Did you see how I talked and I didn't move my lips? I could have been a ventriloquist. Okay, so I've done just the outside. All right, so this was deep neutral, so I just want to blend it out a little um, because, you know, it's definitely dark. You know what I will say about this beauty for real? It went on real smooth. So obviously it's quite dark, but tis the season, right? We're in the season. It kind of has that brick red sort of look to it. Oh, look at this magic. Oh, it's not transferable say what now I got a heart tattoo on my hand bonus <laughs> is that crazy it's like it's not coming off is it a little tacky there is that weird it's just not coming off but you know what I'm living for it I'm I'm here for it I am here right here for it beauty for real are you for real <laughs> I just had to say that okay again feeling very crazy if you like it, just give this a thumbs up. If you like the crazy, I can bring the crazy. Here is the fourth item. This is, oh, just let me open the box. What the hell is going on? Okay, this is Coconut Kisses. Hmm, Coconut Kisses in September? Sure, whatever. It even has a little cover. So in case you want to know, it is a lip mask. Coconut. Okay, I'll just put a little bit on my... I'm gonna dip my dirty finger in there. Just coconut oil, but it's clear, like white in the pot, but it's clear on my lips and 
I don't have a problem with that. I just like a really moisturized lip. It's the best for last. What did I say when things come in? Bubble wrap. Look, it's a full size palette. Probably upside down. Yes, of course it's upside down. All right, look, Ace Beauty. Everybody talks about Ace Beauty. I've never tried it. This is a full size eyeshadow palette by Ace Beauty called the Violet Sage. Violet Sage. Better have some nice purples and greens in there. Here is the packaging. Very nice. It's cardboard, but it's quite substantial. Oh, and out, out comes the cover, so that's cool. Oh, we got a full-size mirror. Well, we got a mirror, anyways. And look at the colors, you guys. You know, I gotta just stick my finger in this one, Wisteria. This is looking very nice. Ooh, look at that. Let's just do a little swatch rooney on that one. Whoa, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's see that one. Ooh, cooler, just more icier pink. And then what's the other one? Is this one down here called Cosmos? Ooh, ooh, whoa, let's see that one. Ooh, wow, those three really just calling to me. Okay, so let's get into a few more. Okay, let's look at this green because I actually do like a green and, you know, have green on. You can't tell. This is green. And these are green, so let's go with this green mat. Oh, it's like a forest green. Okay, there's one more here, sage, yes. Oh, the feel of these mats. Look at the pigmentation on that puppy. So oh, beautiful. A little bit more chalkier. I like my hand in that, that's, oh. I mean, literally, they are like silk. All right, let's swatch that right there between the pinks. All right, so those are absolutely beautiful. This video is sponsored by Kirkland from Costco. <laughs> I'm just joking. I only wish. Okay, so I'm going to just take this off. And then I just want to see how many wipes it takes to take that. Look at that. Can you believe that lip liner? Is it magic? What the heck? What? It's not coming off. There's the eyeshadows. Okay, the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, it just stays on your lips forever. <laughs> Welcome to Permanent Lip Tattoos by Beauty, for real. Can we just throw some of these eyeshadows right on my eyes? I think we should throw <laughs> we should throw some eyeshadow on my eyes. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to do a purple and a green look? Really? I mean, like, that's on the cover. Purple and green. Do we, are we buying the whole purple and green idea? We could be creating something that's crazy. I'm going to take Sage. And I'm just gonna see, is that, yeah, it's it's not too powdery. There it is there. We see that it's nicely pigmented. I'm gonna show you this cool trick. I was watching these older YouTube videos. Don't ask me who it is. I'm so sorry because I watched like a million people and then like a, a total idiot, I cleared my search history. But she's a makeup artist. So she says, you know, roll, roll your, you know how we go in and sometimes you may want just the color on the end. So you would just dab, which is fine. But if you want your brush coated, you know, if you're doing like, I don't know, if you're laying down base color, which is what we're doing transitional, she's like, take it and just roll it. So you roll the brush that kind of coats it all, right? And then, you know how we would tap off the excess? We tap it off this way so it falls on your desk or your carpet or your bathroom floor. She's like, tap it with your open hand this way and most of the powder just falls deeper into the brush. Is that not brilliant, by the way? Like. It's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I'm just going to take that sage and I'm just going to, you know, kind of start here and just, I just want to create a little bit of uh, a different color hue to kind of start it off. The sage, it definitely, yeah, it's fairly true to color. Wouldn't you say it's fairly true to color? So again, tap, tap, goes into the brush. I just think that's absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I mean, really? How come nobody else does it? Nobody else talked about it. It's definitely a makeup artist's uh, trick for sure, right there. And I'm going to put that with more of a shading brush on the outside. I take it and I'm gonna just tap it on. I'm gonna start building some of that juniper kind of on the outside portion of my eye here. I will build that up more. I can see right away, even though it's going on the eyes, it's definitely, um, 
it's kind of washing out in comparison to the pan color. Definitely pan color much darker. Okay, but I mean everybody talked about Ace Beauty, so I was really excited to see this palette because a lot of people just love Ace Beauty. It's just not quite. That's even still a bit darker than this side. Let me try to darken that one spot again. Oh, okay. There we go. Again, somewhere there. Yeah, there's no problem to the blend here. Yeah, that's looking not too bad. Is it even? I could go a little darker on this side now. A tiny little bit just to kind of darken that out. Good. Definitely want to use this violet color because it is called the Sage and Violet Palette. Now that I got a nice Morphe shader brush, I am going to spray it even though it's a matte. But we're not messing about today. We're going for the full thing. So let's go with this violet color right here. So there's the purple. Woo, yeah. Not bad. Okay, let's just go to the other side because the color is nice. So, yeah, I think that's reasonably true to color. It's a little bit obviously lighter with my skin tone underneath than it is just pressed in the pan, but it's quite nice. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, and then I'll just drag it down for a little cohesiveness there. Oh, yeah, that's nice there, isn't it? Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Let me just curl my lashes. Oh. So this is just the Lash Sensational Maybelline Sky High and it's all right, you know, but it's just, it's that brush uh, that I'd like to show you but my fingers would get dirty, but it just, it's so wimpy that as soon as it gets up against my lashes, it just goes all over the place. I'm like, all right, so anyways, I'm just finishing up this look. Yeah, I really think that this is gonna be fun. <sighs> Ooh, I got some green in my pink there. But anyways, I think it's gonna be really fun. I just kind of like how they did, like you could literally take this quad right here would be really good. Like I said, you've got the three metallics, which I swatched on the back of my hand. I thought those were nice. These two like greens or pops of greens are really nice. And yes, boxy charms. Keep the keep the eyeshadow palettes coming because I really think that that is uh, something really lovely to receive. Like it's really just lovely to receive. So I'm very, very happy about that. I'll put it back in my bubble wrap. And I really did like the Ciate of London. Uh, their bamboo bronzer in uh, South Beach. Um, yes, you know, the, the lip liner, it's still on the lips. It was still on the hand for a good many wipes you saw until it finally came off. So luckily it does come off with actually some wipes, which was good. Killer surprise definitely was the Wander Beauty uh, on the glow, on the go with the, um, with the bare uh, colored blush and then the lovely melt in your skin highlighter from Wander Beauty that was just really really lovely <laughs> and of course the coconut kisses so that's kind of just like um like a filler type product for me I feel but you know again it's not it's not a throwaway because girl. I just like a little lip balm. I like, I like, like chapstick. I like my lips to be moisturized. So I would have to say overall, that was definitely a five out of five. There was nothing in there that I don't like, um, which is amazing. Now I want to share with you the one product that I purchased. The shop, you know, has those discounted makeup items and I was just like, yes, because it's one of the reasons why I got into BoxyCharm was Viseart. And so I got this amazing Viseart Petite Pro eyeshadow palette. And I just was like, what? I just love it. So it's this tiny, tiny little travel one. This, by the way, was $9. I think very worth it because if you're familiar with Viseart, from France. Coveted sort of like makeup artist eyeshadow brand. Little magnetic closure with this little cute little thing here. Then you open this up. You have a mirror at the top, of course. And then look at these shadows with that little sort of 
it looks actually like all four of these are shimmers and all four of these are matte and they go really from very light to very very dark chocolatey brown i really don't know so there's the first shimmer oh that's quite pretty okay let's just go to this color right here kind of more of a gold definitely has a different texture wow that's really really pretty wow next to that other one you can barely see it oh that would be because I literally put it over top. All right. Anyways, that's gorgeous. Love that one. Okay, this one right here. Ooh, well, that's pretty. <laughs> I'll try not to put the swatches on top of each other. That way you can maybe see them better. Okay, and then this one is like an aubergine. Oh, girl, hang on to your knickers. Okay. Okay. Like, what? What? Okay. But look at all the colors, just kind of how nice they all sort of go together. I think that it is just a beautifully well-balanced palette. Definitely the highlight there is that gold. Ooh, the feel of it. It's it's like liquid. It's like a powder to, or a cream to powder. But look at the color. Whew. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. Like I said, it only cost me $9 to buy the Viseart. Um the Viseart palette there. Oh, look, I just did a big smudge of gold on there. And then it just folds, boom, bang, and then goes right back into its tidy little holder like that. So when I tallied up, I believe I tallied up all the retail prices on the back of this card with my base box for the BoxyCharm, um, the total retail value was $132. So bravo, bravo, because it certainly didn't cost me $132 to purchase. Super excited. I have already picked my one item for my October box, which the shipping label has been created. Let's hopefully assume that, let's hope, let's hope that it doesn't take a full eight weeks to get that box. And then um, they had the drop shop at Boxy uh, and I picked up two more palettes, two more eyeshadow palettes that, uh, that I'm really excited to receive. So uh, that is my big um, unboxing. Boxy Charm and my big Boxy Charm rant. I'm sure Boxy Charm will be watching this and they will be just apologizing profusely for this very, very uh, unwelcoming first experience with Boxy Charm with its delay and not getting my welcome gift. Um, and um, and the other thing that I'm not sure about is if I'll be able to actually get in to see my hairdresser this weekend. I'm feeling as the time goes by that that is probably a no-go, just saying. But anyways, uh, no phone calls. <laughs> you guys, I really thank you so much for always hanging out and just spending some time with me. Uh, the same with, of course, the BoxyCharm and the Viseart palette. I mean, all of these things. Oh, they did have colors on the back. I just saw that. I'm like, oh, they don't have colors. They had colors on the back with names. <laughs> But I will definitely be doing a makeup look with this just because I just think all of those colors were gorgeous. I really want to see how well the Viseart mattes perform. Again, thank you so much for just hanging out with me. I really, really do appreciate it because that's why I'm on here was just to love of makeup. That's why you're watching is because you love makeup as well and that you're in the 45 plus group. You're a working woman, whether it is a career woman outside of the home or you are a hardworking mom. And I will let you know if there's any changes or if I receive my welcome my welcome gift somewhere down the line anyways you guys i hope you all have an absolutely fabulous fabulous week and i really look forward to seeing you all next week and uh, stay safe everybody and have yourselves a wonderful weekend mm, take care